Welcome to another edition of Using the Zolar Laser. Today's topic is a phrenectomy. In this particular case, this 40-year-old Asian patient had two old crowns that were chipped and fractured. And we're going to crown trough for this, but also do a phrenectomy. You can see the thick frenum here. We put some anesthetic in. And we're using an initiated tip because we're in contact. The key to any phrenectomy is to use your non-dominant hand, your left hand, to pull the lip taut and use small touching motions which will rupture the fibers and will allow the phrenectomy to suddenly open up as you see here in a diamond shape. We're using one watt initiated. Maybe we could use a little bit less because there's some slight charring, but you can see a very light deft touch is all that is necessary. Pulling constantly with your left hand and just touching the fibers to allow them to rupture. What you'll see is that in a matter of 45 seconds or so, you can open up the phrenectomy, as you see here, very easily and eliminate all the fibers. I usually like to touch first and third base in the diamond to open it up. What we're doing now is using an ultravent syringe with uh, some heat, uh, hydrogen peroxide to clean any charring off because patients don't want to see any, any charred tissue. So it's nice to be able to just brush some hydrogen peroxide, just very low concentration that you'd find in the drugstore, and just brush this on the soft tissue, which will remove any of the charred remains. If you zoom in here, you can see a nice clean looking wound that will heal in by secondary intention. We now remove the old crowns by cutting through them, revealing two cast posts and cores underneath. These were air abraded, and then a uh, solution of blockout material was, was placed over after etching and bonding. This opaque that you see here allows the teeth to be blocked out. And then we use a dial laser at 0.8 watts to trough. Here you can see the impression of the two crowns. The tissue immediately after troughing in the phrenectomy. And now provisionals. We left the tissue for two weeks. Uh, after the uh, laser troughing, and you can see here the provisionals in place. Crowns are removed. Here are the, the, the uh, new crowns. These are Remax crowns. The crowns are removed. And look how nice the soft tissue is responding to our troughing and to the laser phrenectomy just two weeks after the original preparations. The occlusal and sizal view shows great healing in between on the troughing and beautiful uh, visibility of the margins. Look at the phrenectomy here and how well it's healing. It heals in by secondary intention, so you sometimes get a little bit of scarring there. We place the two crowns in, and we give the patient another two weeks to evaluate the wound healing. You see here immediately post-op, and here two weeks later, you can see the final post-op view of the phrenectomy. This is four weeks afterwards. You can see the beautiful healing. Thanks again for watching. This is Dr. Glenn Vanessa. Keep gazing. It's amazing.